Last night, I saw a post on r slash anime about rumors of Karoka being acquired by Sony. Now, that post got removed due to mod thinking that it's just, you know, it's rumors and it's no confirmation. But based on what people are saying, it seems like Karoka and Sony, they're really uh, pretty tight-knit and the deal may go through. And if that happens, well, let's learn about it in the video. This is probably the worst news for anime, manga, light novels, anime and manga culture. This is legitimately some of the worst news I think I have seen all year long. And it's because of Sony having a monopoly over the anime industry. Maybe it's not correct to say a monopoly, but they're going to have a sizable chunk, such a big portion. And knowing Western companies, well, I can't just say that, but it's more of like the censorships that you see from Western companies and different things that may result in the anime and manga as you know it to change fundamentally to appease their audience, right? This is the kind of the dangers and the skepticism a lot of people have with this acquisition. Now... <laughs> A very delusional but idealistic, uh, hopeful conclusion of this is, Hey, we got Sony money now! We can get animators paid really well! And we can have better anime without, you know, incredibly stupid deadlines and scheduling and everyone can be happy. Well, that doesn't really happen in an unregulated market where, you know, one company can just dominate. And I feel like a lot of people that are potentially celebrating this don't truly understand how dangerous this is and how bad this is going to be. Like, if this fully does happen, if Sony does fully acquire Katakawa... Anime and if you guys don't know what Katakawa is, you would be shocked at how many different companies and how much Katakawa really owns in terms of, like, the market for anime. Here's a fun studio that you may know of. You know Oshinoko, right? Or even... Roshitere, Alia sometimes speaks Russian and English, or in Japanese, hides her feelings in Japanese. Uh, yeah, Russian? Sorry. That's from Dogakobo, the studio. And the studio has been bought by Katakawa. Katakawa does this. And if, you know, other Sony now has Katakawa, that means that Dogakobo is also a sister company subsidiary. And at the end of the day, I'm not sure how they're going to regulate or, you know, censor and filter content, but... This is the kind of like downstream effect that's going to happen once you have such a big entity as Karaka being acquired by Sony. Anime culture itself is going to change 100%. We've already seen glimpses yeah. of anime, manga, and light novel culture being changed to fit certain Western companies' ideology. Mm -hmm. And remember, do you guys remember Concord? I even see a tweet down here saying Sony is also the same company that's actively censoring the gaming department and recent Concord's failure. If you don't know about the Concord failure, think of it like this. They wasted a decade plus, I'm not sure, almost eight plus years or some shit. I forget the exact timeline. Like millions, hundreds of millions of dollars poured in for, you know, these delusional game devs that think like, oh, we're going to censor and make our game for the modern audience. Not even thinking about who or what the video game audience is, but them trying to basically be this voice of this is the correct way to live and play video games and therefore we're going to create these and hopefully modern audience will do it you see video game journalists and articles have so biased and out of touch takes because what they're trying to do is you know big companies are trying to inject money to really spin up a new narrative of trying to switch up the industry from what it is into what they want turn out to be a complete failure hundreds of millions of dollars just gone down the drain time gone just video, just all layoffs happening, entirely scrapped. Everyone got refunds. And that project, Sony was behind it. They were the parent company. So, like, think about that and what that may mean for the anime industry. And if this goes through, this is no longer just, let's say, Western companies being acquired. This is a Japanese company yeah. that will be acquired by Sony and basically, Sony will be capable of manipulating the releases of stuff at yep. the very source. We're not talking about, like, mistranslations or improper dubs or anything like that. We're talking about them acquiring a company that has ownership of multiple animation studios mm -hmm. like Doga Kobo, a.k.a. the studio that does Oshino Ko. There it is. if you like Oshino Ko or not, still a very big studio that releases high-quality shows. And... There's multiple other studios that, for instance, you know, Katakawa owns. That's not including their gaming division that they own, for instance, like... From Soft. 
If you're a fan of Elden Ring or Souls game, that's from Soft. And they are under Karakawa. And if Sony buys Karakawa, now even that may be compromised. They own 70% Staker Plus for From Software, aka the owners of Dark Souls yeah. and Elden Ring. Yeah, that, that's a big one. They have Spike Chunsoft, aka the developers of the Dragon Ball games, aka Ooh. the newest one that came out, Sparking, Sparking. Zero. So, Kodakawa is a big company. Very big. And if Sony effectively acquires this said company, they will have a huge origin point source for anime, manga, and light novel releases. Because Kodakawa yep. is a huge company that owns a huge chunk of light novel releases as well. And in fact, Kodakawa owns Yen Press. A.K.A. Yen Press is the main distributor of light Aren't they the ones that constantly get shit on for bad ReZero translations? Light novels, some manga as well, but mainly light novels within the West. So, the fact that this is potentially going to happen is scary. Because Sony for the last half decade, almost a decade at this point, has been slowly spreading their tendrils and acquiring multiple anime and manga related companies, gaining ownership of them, and effectively putting themselves as a monopoly. They yep. are, honestly, the best description of it, they are the Eastern equivalent of Disney, or the Disney equivalent for the anime community. And monopoly is always bad. There is no situation where monopoly is good. The consumers will only suffer when you have only one option to go to. If you don't know about this, think about like why your like grocery prices might be so high. Think about why your cell phone providers might be so high. Now, in America, there's a lot more options, but in Canada, we're really fucked because telecoms and groceries and everything, it's pretty much just an oligarchy of big monopoly like companies just kind of just price gouging every consumer no one else can get into competition because the government's incentive they're all bought out there's no like policies in place to protect customers and you only have like a couple options and that's it you can't choose a better service you can't have competition coming in because it dissuades competition no other companies want to start up because it's so hard to fight against you know what's already established and when you have a few options dominating everything you as the consumer always get fucked over. The only time a healthy capitalistic market economy can happen is when it's regulated, when monopolies are made sure not made. Therefore, other smaller companies, other startups can have a vision of understanding the pain points of what exists, right? Whether it be offering a service in a better way, a more affordable way, right? That's how you penetrate the market and you know, grow as a company while benefiting the consumers as well. But in a situation like this where the market is tightly controlled by a few companies, you're cooked. There's nothing you can do. Manga community. That's what they are. Sony is gaining a monopoly, and this is not good news. I've actively talked about how dangerous this is for the last few years now, ever since, you know, Sony acquired Funimation and Crunchyroll and eventually Right Stuff and Aniplex. Yeah, they even own Aniplex already. Yeah. And if they acquire this, that's just like, they'll have, they'll literally have studios. They'll have full-blown... I'm not completely sure of examples of Aniplex censoring content before and after being acquired by Sony. From what I've read, just brief random opinions online, and surely people don't lie on the internet, right? Sounds like Aniplex has been pretty chill in censoring all this different shit so far own light novel ownership they will have actual straight up gaming ownership of some of the biggest franchises mm -hmm. they will have the distribution of stuff within the west and even stuff released in japan sony will have a monopoly hands down straight up but it is probably going to slide under the radar because to be honest with you anime and manga content is very low level in comparison to a lot of other things in the world so i feel like if you look at the vast majority of things this is going to happen. I don't think there's really going to be anything that's going to stop this. Sony is going to full-blown gain. We need the Genshin boycott activists to write up petitions to prevent this acquisition from happening. Yep. Couple signatures, guys. Couple signatures and let's call up Mr. Sony and Mr. Katakawa. Yep. And then maybe we can prevent them.
but I don't think that's going to happen, guys. Katakawa. So let's get into some of the details here on why this is dangerous. This right here, as you can see on screen, is a list of things that Katakawa currently owns. For instance, That's as you can lot. see, they own Bookwalker. They own different studios like Spike Chunsoft from, from software. software. They have a bunch of different animation studios. You can see here, like Dogokobo and stuff. They mm -hmm. have Ingi. They have, you know, Studio Kadan. They have literally Cinema Citrus, a 31% stake, but still... They own quite a bit. They own Yen Press, a 51% of Yen Press. This is a lot of stuff, Katakawa. Yep. Owns. And if Sony buys this, their stranglehold on the market is going to be certain. Nothing will actively be able to really compete with Sony at this point, at least when it comes to anime, manga, light novel culture, because they, they can literally drown out any other releases or people that get stuff in the West. And let, let's explain this. The distribution so process? Katakawa and uh, let, let's just say Aniplex and stuff, they have a very big role within okay. anime distribution and also just what gets a light novel, what gets a manga, what gets translated, all that type of stuff. And effectively, if they Sony acquires this, they can divvy out, you know, what series, like for instance, a light novel or something, gets adapted into an anime from what studio, because obviously they would own those studios, they would have a big say in that. But on top of that as well, they also can have a big say on how it's distributed into the West, aka through Crunchyroll. Now, Ooh. at first glance, this might seem like a very good thing for the consumer. And, you know, again, the really uh, idealistic, hopeful thought, which might be delusional, is that more resources. Yay, big companies showing up. Yay, they're going to help us. The anime industry is saved. Maybe. But more often than not, corporate greed always gets in the way. And it's probably going to be more censorship, more like strict releases of what's going to be shown, right? All these Coomer content is probably going to die out, in my opinion. But anyone that's obviously actively been following news and information, let's say, around Crunchyroll itself, not even including Sony, knows, you know, Crunchyroll keeps getting themselves into a lot of controversy and trouble. Yeah. And the latest one, obviously, is the, the male stuff theft. of the voice actor stealing literal mail. But that doesn't even get into the other type of stuff, the other issues of censorship and agenda pushing and all sorts of other misconduct. You know, Crunchyroll's gotten themselves into a lot of things. Yeah. And basically, if they gain Katakawa... They will be able to funnel stuff from Japan perfectly within the Crunchyroll without anyone being able to really fight for the rights. For instance, when it came to anime coming from Japan, you had a bunch of companies, let's say when Funimation wasn't merged with Crunchyroll, Funimation and Crunchyroll... One second, sorry. Technical difficulty, three, two, one. We're good. Go back here. Merged with Crunchyroll... Funimation and Crunchyroll, they fought for distribution rights, like which, you know, uh, site would get the rights for streaming. But obviously with Sony buying Funimation and then Crunchyroll, it made it to where, like, if they bought it, it would just go all to Crunchyroll. Yep. And so they killed out the competition because they bought the competition out. Again, another example where competition is so necessary for a healthy market for the consumers to thrive. If there's no other options, if there's only one fucking choke point. You can't do anything about it. High Dive is one of those companies that's one of the last bastions of just straight up anime streaming releases that is in direct competition with Crunchyroll. But they are losing ground. About a mm -hmm. year and a half ago, I made a video. They like shut down services in different countries, right? And people are really pissed off about that. So, discussing about how High Dive had to back out of a bunch of different countries because it wasn't profitable anymore. And most likely they're just not making enough money. And also they're having to compete with Crunchyroll that arguably has a lot more money because that got that Sony money. Yep. And they can't really compete with such a very big and massive company. And so as Sony continues to gain a, a foothold and buying out more and more companies that are affiliated with anime, manga, and light novels, it's going to put a stranglehold on High Dive and other competing companies where they might not even be able to get the licensing rights. You get, you get the point. So as this continues to happen, this is becoming dangerous because the point of why a monopoly is dangerous is because it makes it to where the company will have no competition. You have one option. If you want to go to the grocery store, but you're so broken, you see eggs, 10 fucking dollars. All right, maybe I'll go to a different grocery store and that's going to be a lower price. But what if there's only one grocery store forever and they can just raise their prices if they want? They can also just reduce the quality too. And you can't do anything because there's no other options. 
and in a healthy market again. And maybe there's some entrepreneurs that sees that clients are suffering. There's a solution, an alternative solution by offering you services at a more affordable cost or a better service. But when you have a stranglehold, when you have a monopoly, none of that shit is possible anymore. There's only one single entity that you can rely on and you're fucked. They will not need to innovate and there would be no place for anyone to go besides that said company. Let's give a good example of this. Obviously, in the anime community right now, one of the big reasons how people kind of fight back against, let's say, Crunchyroll, for instance, legal streaming, is by pirating. They go through <laughs> different sites online to watch their anime for free. Yes, sir. I'm not going to be someone that's going to play a moral high ground and stuff. I've watched anime on different sites as well. What I'm trying to say is, is that if they gain Katakawa, you will no longer be able to really just even fight back against Crunchyroll because Sony owns Crunchyroll and they will own the original source of stuff as well. At least the stuff that's under the Katakawa blanket. Mm. A lot of light novels, aka ReZero as well. Ooh. Massive series, obviously. Overlord, you, you get the point. A major light novel series are owned by light, like by Katakawa. And if Sony gets it, you know, you can see the point. If you like those series, you know, even if you wanted to pirate them to a degree they could still be fundamentally changed at the source, which that is the next problem. That is really the issue, right? The filtering from the source. The fact that so many light novels are pretty much like the origin point of, you know, getting inspired to make anime and stuff. But if they have complete control over that, like, there's little to nothing you can do about it. Like, what do you do? So... Why a monopoly is dangerous, besides obviously the fact that there will be no innovation or no anybody to compete with them, yep. they can effectively do whatever they want. They yep. can price gouge you. They can raise the prices as high as they want because they have no competition. Why do they need to make their prices fair? For instance, if another company is like, you know, you get thousands of anime for $5, you know, and then they obviously, they also have a thousand something anime, they would have to be a competitive price. But if they don't have a competition and you want to compete with, they can raise the price prices as high as they want because they know people are going to pay them to watch anime. That's why competition is so important in capitalism, right? A lot of people have a very doomer take on capitalism because all they see is late stage capitalism where there's no regulation and governments, you know, policies and everything is just bought out by the interest of these corporations feeding, you know, the government, you know, people just money. And if you don't have competition, again, there's no reason to innovate. The consumers will always lose out in a situation where the company is the only source, sorry, only option you have. They have no reason to make their service better. They have no reason to make, you know, your prices better. You only have one thing to go to and no other competition can rise up. It is such an unfair, like business model and it's the ultimate like wet dream of these corporations now obviously there is a big chunk that will watch you know pirate versions of anime and manga and stuff but it doesn't change the fact they can raise the prices as much as they want because no competition yeah but it doesn't just stop there if they have agenda or want to push a narrative message Social messaging narratives, right? You see all these DEI and inclusion stuff that's happening around the world and a lot of people getting mad that, listen, we're playing video games. We don't want to be reminded of all these different political issues. Maybe some sort of, you know, very subtle political messaging to trying to teach a lesson throughout history throughout these video games is nice, but constantly being just thrown all these different things, these virtue signals at your face, it's very annoying, right? When you just want to just what, turn your brain off and just enjoy something. And, you know, these companies, man, you've seen with the Concord, you've seen with, you know, other projects that Sony has done, these dudes will continue to just push this, push this ideology down your throat. They can, because once again, if they own literally the source of things, they can do whatever they want with it. They can censor content, they can change it, do whatever they want, and there is literally nothing anyone can really do about it, because obviously There's no competition. they own the vast majority of it. And this gets into the whole Disney effect of why mm. I made that comparison. Disney owns a lot of entertainment. I don't think anyone is really arguing that. They own a massive amount of entertainment, which is just staggering when you really take a, a, take a good look at what they own. And it's obvious that Disney has their tendrils and everything, and they've really manipulated things to have a certain thing. And there's a reason why Hollywood is not doing so well in recent times, and even the gaming industry in the West isn't, because of certain decisions that a lot of companies like to make. But I'm not getting into that. The point I'm trying to make is, is that if Sony, which now is based in California, FYI, continues to do this, they're effectively going to censor anime and manga. Not just anime, 
but manga and light novels at the very source. Any Core. controversial theme, anything that might upset people or be weird to a degree will be completely removed potentially and like a lot of people might celebrate and say yeah that's what you get mushoku tensei cancelled all these weird creepy isekai cancelled what you fail to see is the precedence that it sets right this is not about like fandoms you know shitting another fandom saying Let, let's go our anime survived yours didn't that's such a small mindset you are all part of the same side, the same team as the consumer is enjoyers of this content. And suddenly just saying like, oh, look, our survived, but yours didn't. Haha, ha, it's just the most cringe loser behavior. You don't even realize that you're just being puppeteered by these corporate overlords, you know, just making you dance at their palms. And in the future, controversial topics and all these different things for sure, it's weird, it's creepy, but that's fiction. It's fiction, and you reach out for it because you can separate fiction from reality to get a completely different experience and, you know, to be immersed in a different world, right? And it's like, <laughs> there's no more just Mushoku Tensei-like content. Not saying, like, I want specifically those kind of content. In fact, I'm the only person, probably, that goes out to bat for all you motherfuckers that, you know, enjoy MT but hate the creepy shit. It's just so sad to think that all this stuff, right, at the source will be fundamentally changed because of corporate greed. And there's nothing you can seem to do about it. Essentially, we've already seen cases of this and the Western examples of different gaming and stuff and when stuff is brought to Crunchyroll and all that. So what's to say this doesn't also happen for the stuff at the very source? Very dangerous. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. We're watching a video talking about the whole Crunchyroll, uh, sorry, Karukawa and getting acquisition by Sony. I haven't been able to raid you recently, Alicia, because my sleep schedule has been so fucked where I start streaming around 11 p.m. and end at 6 a.m. Apologies for that, but uh, what's up, Rat Gang? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's a little bit of a doomer news right now. We're almost done with it. This is legitimately very unsettling and bad news for the anime and manga community. Legitimately, some of the worst news I think of all here. If it, if it has to be affiliated with anime and manga and stuff, this is the worst news that we could possibly have gotten. I hope... Worst news so far. If this deal doesn't happen, I hope Katakawa turns them down, but I really don't think they will. Sony has a lot of money, and also, I want to point something out. What? Sony is the same company that recently had the failure of Concord. Yep. FYI. Again, if you don't know Concord, hundreds of millions of dollars just wasted thinking that they are making a video game for like an inclusive, woke audience, the modern video gaming audience, right? Where there can no longer be sexy characters, no fan service, nothing like that. They just want these ugly, just neutral models. And, you know, it's supposed to represent the woke audience. And what happened? That's right, 400 million. 400 mil down the drain. A decade or something? Down the drain. So much resources gone. And that was their vision. Sony thought it was going to work. That is the company buying this shit out. I want you to realize how ridiculous that is. Maybe they'll have definitely learned a lesson, but it is insane. Thank you, Alicia. Hope you have a good night. Thank you for the raid again. Same studio that did the whole debacle with Helldivers. Obviously different branch, sub-branch of Sony. You know, it's the gaming division, but still owned by Sony nonetheless. The thing is, is that what's to say what's happening in the gaming division doesn't happen in the anime division. You see what I'm getting at. So, yeah. And I think that the failure of Concord is a great case study to show that it's not just all doomer news. It's not all just hopeless. People vote with their wallet. Even if you buy out all the video game articles, even if you buy out all this different media to keep, you know, sending this message of what video game, you know, players should be like and what the modern audience should want. When you put out the product, you get a rude awakening of what the masses actually want. And maybe this is a bad example and it's a touchy subject because, you know, a lot of people don't like Donald Trump. But look at the election results. Another situation where you heavily misjudge what the bigger audience wants and by simply throwing around, you know, different, you know, talking about uh, uh, what, what's the word like talking points and different things that does not truly relate to the hearts of the average person. Look what turned out, right? So if we take that example and apply it here with anime, manga, light novel stuff, 
What's to say that Katakawa Sony, sure, they'll pump shit out, but maybe people will realize that, nah, we don't want anything to do with it. And it is really sad that Katakawa and Sony, right, they have everything at the source. Your manga, anime, light novels, everything will be heavily censored at the source. Is the assumption being made? Nothing is definite. We'll definitely have to give time to see what's going to happen. Even the acquisition is not confirmed just yet. But I think that when you face these kind of, you know, injustice of corporate greed, the average person, you know, who actually is a consumer will simply choose not to consume that content or choose something else. And yes, it's a monopoly. What else do you have? That's why different solutions will probably pop up in the future that I have no clue about. But I don't think this is all hopeless. And another thing is, you never know, right? There, this is the worst case situation. What if Sony saves the anime industry? It's a very stupid and idealistic and naive way to think about it. But like, you could still entertain the thought. <laughs> Maybe animators will get paid properly. Maybe we're going to have better manga, anime, and light novels than ever before. Who knows, man? Only one way to find out. Bad news. Just very, very bad news. Nothing good about this whatsoever. Literally the worst thing I woke up to. I did not want to see this when I opened up, you know, social media today. But obviously I saw it. People need to become aware of this. And for those that say, I guess I want to just go back to the high seas. That's <laughs> not really going to help this time. Because obviously... The source is what's being changed, right? Not the distribution... No, no, no. The source. Obviously... I mean, it could help that you won't be giving them money, but effectively you'll just get the series canceled because obviously if they own the stuff at the very source, there's just nothing you can do. If you have an interest in it, you know, it's going to potentially get censored or changed or whatever to fit modern times, modern audiences, so to speak. There is that term so, yeah, again. I'll leave it at that. I wanted to talk about this. I saw this and I was just like, man, this is what I feared and it's actually happening. It's only a matter of time now until... uh until Sony through? acquires Viz. I talked about this, but Viz uh, manga I feel as well, like huh? It's gonna happen if they really do get Katakawa, they're gonna get Viz soon. Because if they have Yin Press under their banner, and then they have Right Stuff and Crunchyroll Ooh. and all that, oh man, like Viz is next. And if Ooh. Viz gets acquired, oh goodness, they will literally have the massive releases of light novels, manga, anime, and anime all in the West. They will come. There's only one thing that can save us. It's webtoons, Korean manhwas, Chinese manhwas. We need something else. Japan has been infiltrated by the West. It's over. <laughs> what do we do, guys? Now, again, this is all, you know, doomer news, and you can always, you know, doom scroll all you want and think of negative shit, but these are things outside of your control. Focusing on things that is outside of your control and just de being depressed all the time is the fastest way to be just, you know, just being unproductive with your time and just being sad always. Focus on what you can control at an individual level. Don't watch shows if, you know, it no longer does, you know, what it, it, it entertains you the way it does. Like video game shit, right? Sometimes you just have to just step up, just fucking step up. And in the video game industry, what happens? You put out a shitty game, people simply just don't play it. And you have indie games that pop up that people really enjoy and those indie games then go crazy pal world is a good example of that recently right so maybe there can be something similar to that indie game example that can fit into you know this anime manga light novel industry but who knows how that's gonna work with katakawa and sony acquisition most likely going through please go give chibi a like in the video here's the link and i'll see you next time